one, this this pop rivet going in is going to hit this pop rivet. Of course, they won't go all the way in because it'll be the thickness of the mast. Let's see. And I think it'll probably be okay because. Let's see. That's going in there. That's going in there. Once I put one in, I might have to drill it, drill the other side. Let's see. And these are going, oh, these are going in nicely. So that means, and that goes in nicely. Now, this might be running into it. Yep, it is. Son of a bitch. Well. I think once I put this, put this one in, then I can probably re-drill and we'll just sort of shave a little bit off of that one. Something like that, hopefully. So it should work. But we don't do these for quite a while. You can't assemble this now because because uh, it has to go in. So I think I'm just missing it. This flange probably doesn't go all the way down in. Hmm. To be determined. Okay. Yeah, make sure it still works. Let's see. This is the pitot tube. <laughs> and make sure nothing's happening to the other one. And then this is the angle of attack tube. I'll blow into there. The blue, um, I color coded them so I know which is which. The blue is this one. And that's still good. Figure out you know, how to do all your bends. You don't need, we have, have a special bending tool so you don't get it kinked. But it's looking to me like. There's going to be too much coming out of here at oh, all. These, these go in here like this. And this, and this goes into this one. So it's going to be pretty short, really. Short, I mean, these can be backed up anywhere you want. So this one has to be bent back over here, and this one has to be bent, bent around that over there. <coughs> this is the pitot, and this is the angle of attack. <coughs> So you have to figure out how all these bins and how, how much length you're going to need, kind of guessing in a way, because once you have this sheet on the cover on, <coughs> you won't be able to see anything. And then the only access you have is through this hole, once the uh, bottom skin is on. Have you seen it and since then? Uh, and then all these, all these washers had to go in. But of course, as you're trying to put a washer in, they'll just drop through. So that's where I came up with the idea of using this uh, goop, silicone goop, and I would stick those washers together and stick them on my fingers, and I'd try and put the bolt through this way, and then I'd have a, I'd have like a prong like this, slide it through there. Then I would slide them on one at a time, one at a time, one at a time, as I'm backing this out, holding those washers in place, and then, so the bolt is coming through and sort of pushing my stick out, holding the washers, and kerboom, got them all. But that was just that. And then down in here, the same thing, see, but you, can barely, you can't even see it out of there. I had to cut a separate spacer for that, put the washers down in there, and then the same thing down there. But these are really tricky because you can't get your fingers in there. Of course, Tony says, ah, that's easy. We had to drill all the holes from scratch. <laughs> That's an RV3 up there in that picture. Those two, those two planes. One's a three and one's a four, I think. So, so.
so obviously once it's sealed up, you're not able to, and th this is going to go, this, this wire is for the light, the landing light. That's our landing light in there that he installed. And, um, this is a little more, this is a little reflection. So, you know, that's just one wire, and, and then the point is that we made, we've got six strings here, and with a washer at both ends, so that any time we need to add a, add a wire, you can just, you know, run it through here, run it through there, whatever, and, and you, you tie, you take one of these strings off, you tie it onto your wire, or attach it to the wire somehow, tie it, okay, and then draw it all the way through it, so that's how you put the wiring in. And we've got six of them in case, in case you know, you know, you might need. A, we don't know how many wires we need right now. Probably at least three, but you can do up to six wires because you've got six strings. And this is how you feed them through from one end to the other. Because once it's sealed up, you won't be able to access it. It's very difficult to access it. You can access it through here, and that's it. This will be covered. <coughs> And we need to wire this light up first, at least run a wire through for it. Attach a wire to this, and run it down to toward the fuselage there. Then we know we at least have this light wire here. And, um, oh, and then there'll be, this is the, that's where the, uh, your wing tip goes on. So then there's another light, a, um, there's a direction light here, red, red or green. This is, this is this. This is the, um, left side, so you have the, the red light here, and um, so there'll be a light fixture here. You have to run wires into here, into here, connect it to here, run them down. So that's how that works. Thinking ahead. <coughs>